Welcome to the sixth episode in my series, The Show Training 101, where we'll take an in-depth look at various mechanics and control schemes, analyze how they're implemented in MLB 15 The Show, and explore the ways in which you can leverage your newfound knowledge to take your game to the next level. Today, we'll be taking a look at analog pitching. So, what exactly is analog pitching? Well, it's a pitching mechanic that gives you total control over pitch velocity, break, and accuracy. So as always, first select your pitch, and then set pitch location using left stick. The two wide lines at the top of the meter indicate the horizontal edges of the strike zone. Hold the right stick down to begin your delivery, and a baseball icon will descend towards the base of the meter. The yellow bar situated just above the base of that meter represents the ideal height off the pitcher's hand from its designated target. Likewise, the placement of the pitch cursor in relation to the yellow bar governs the vertical accuracy of the pitch. Release the stick too early, the pitch will result in an underthrow. Release the stick too late, you'll overthrow your target. But match your pitch cursor with the yellow bar? Perfect. Okay, after setting your pitcher's release, which determines the vertical accuracy of the pitch, move the right stick upwards towards the top of the meter. But make sure your right stick's upswing corresponds to the direction of the circular target, the placement of which is dependent on your intended pitch location. The degree to which your right stick lands wide of the set target regulates the degree to which your pitch will land wide of your intended location. Now remember, your right stick movement during its upward trajectory affects horizontal accuracy only. Set the pitch cursor right of the set target, your pitch will go wide right. Set your cursor left of the target, watch your pitch veer more left than you'd like. With analog pitching, your right stick movement dictates both the vertical and horizontal accuracy of the pitch. But there's one more component to the mechanic that is equally important. A component that is scarcely understood or even recognized by the show community. That is, the speed at which you motion your stick towards your set target determines the velocity, break, and effectiveness of the pitch. Now each pitcher possesses a minimum and maximum throwing speed for fastballs and a minimum and maximum amount of movement for breaking pitches. To access your pitch's medium velocity and or movement, push up on the right stick at an average speed. To maximize pitch speed and or movement, simply push up on the right stick faster. The amount of power exerted on the pitch is signified by the color on the sides of the pitch meter after the ball is thrown. A yellower color indicates average pitch power, while a redder color indicates increased pitch power. Like meter pitching, the increased velocity and movement comes at the expense of decreased accuracy and increased pitcher fatigue. So be careful not to expend your pitcher's energy too quickly. Do yourself a favor and keep your bullpen well rested. Trust me. Now one more thing, analog pitching grants total control over your pitch via the right stick, and such control renders the mechanic more difficult than other pitching interfaces. To compensate for the increased difficulty and in a balancing effort to fashion each pitching mechanic as equally difficult in practice, the developers have afforded analog users greater forgiveness regarding user error. Likewise, a well-executed pitch command will confer a greater bonus to accuracy. Okay, so now that we have a better understanding of the mechanic, how do we master it? Well, similar to meter pitching, our proficiency with the mechanic in part stems from our newfound knowledge of the interface. Given our understanding of the inverse relationship between pitch power and accuracy slash fatigue, we must choose our power wisely. As mentioned previously, it's essential that our starting pitcher last as long as possible, and to that end, we must maximize pitch power strategically and economically. When behind in the count, or if the batter has three balls, accuracy is at a premium so as not to risk walking the batter. In such cases, we must push the right stick upward at an average speed to ensure greater accuracy. Conversely, when ahead in the count, or if the batter is down to his last strike, a power maximized pitch will increase our chances of striking the batter out. So just flick the right stick upwards with extra velocity to obtain that extra heat or movement, and watch the batter swing in vain as he tries to catch up to your explosive fastball or make contact with your devastating curve. Now I have one last tip. We've already covered how important it is for our starters to work as long as possible, but it's a different story when one of our relief pitchers is in the game. Since relievers typically work only one inning per appearance, fatigue is generally less of a factor, and therefore we needn't worry about overexerting our bullpen. As such, when our reliever is on the mound, make sure to maximize the power of each pitch to give ourselves the best chance of preventing solid contact. Of course, when way behind in the count, you may opt for greater accuracy, but generally, the penalty for successive power maximized pitches is less for relievers than for starting pitchers, so don't be afraid to just let it go. So, that's all for this week. Remember, with analog pitching, 
who are in total control. To be successful, one must maneuver the right stick with great dexterity to more closely align the pitch cursor with your pitcher's release point, as well as your set target. But one must also strategically select the amount of power for each pitch. The risk versus reward between power and accuracy establishes a cerebral component to the mechanic that must be utilized properly in conjunction with precise control of the right stick to master the mechanic. But now that we truly understand analog pitching, you can finally begin to master it. Now, it's just a matter of time. Analog pitching. Accuracy. Power. You are in total control. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for weekly gaming content and more MLB 15 to show guides. Now if you haven't already, make sure to check out my analog, directional, and zone hitting guides. But don't forget, pitching is just as important, so check out my other pitching guides as well. Thanks again for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, I'm out.